this morning we want to really talk about the necessity and the urgency of sharing Jesus. What is the need to do this? You know, sometimes people ask you, you, you guys, why are you so, why do you always talk about Jesus? Why are you telling others about Jesus? What is the necessity? And for us ourselves as, as, as believers, as, as disciples of Christ, you know, what is the need for us to do this? And why is there a sense of urgency in doing this? That's what we're going to address. Matthew 28, verses 18 to 20, he told them, he said, I'm give, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And what? Teach them to observe everything I have commanded you. So the point is this. You and I have been given the same commission. You and I are here to be witnesses for Jesus Christ. Luke 24 verses 46 to 48. The message is clear. Christ died and he was raised from the dead the third day. And there is forgiveness of sins available in his name. All we have to do is repent and believe. And that's the message we are called to share with people. As we build on this, let's answer the two questions. What is the need to do this? Why is there a necessity? And the second is, why is there a sense of urgency? Number one, for the first part, people need a savior. And there is only one. Why are you saying there's only one way? Why does the Bible say? There is only one way. So now, what makes Christ so unique? No other man or woman who ever lived, as good as they may have been, as wonderful as they may, may have been as religious leaders, every man born of a woman was born in sin. Only God who became a man who was sinless could now be a substitute for the rest of us. So it makes complete sense that when he was put on the cross, he could bear the sins of the world because he himself was sinless. The second reason why there is this necessity to sharing the gospel is that because people are empty, are hurting, are searching, are in need. People are looking for meaning. They want to know the truth. They want to know why are we here? What is the purpose of life? What is it that can give me fulfillment? I mean, I have all of this, but I'm sad I want to be fulfilled. People are searching for truth. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. So our confidence should be in Him. Lord, I know if I introduce people to you and I point them to you, you will take care of them. You will not fail them. The last third reason, the last reason here about the necessity is because people will not know the truth unless someone tells them. You see, good news is not good news until the person who needs it hears it. God is ready. God is available. Salvation is accessible for every person. And God is rich to everyone who calls on Him. He makes no distinction. But the problem is, how can they call on somebody whom they've not believed? And how can they believe if they haven't heard? And how can they hear unless somebody tells them? And that somebody could be you. So let's close by talking about the urgency. Why, why is there this urgency? Why should I do it now? Just two reasons. One, people are perishing. They don't know it. And so there is that urgency, the need to bring the message of Jesus Christ to people right here, right now. Number two, time is running out. So let us, let us not be ashamed of the gospel. Let's take on the responsibility. Paul said, if I preach the gospel in 1 Corinthians 9.16, if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast about. For necessity is laid upon me. It's something I have to do. But woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. So I say, look, if I tell people about Jesus, I can't boast about it. That's something I have to do. It's necessity. I have to do it. But I'm miserable if I don't. Woe is me if I do not preach the gospel.